So I, I want to discuss some things that could be challenging for um, some people to hear, but it's not challenging for me because it's a time and a season where we're uh, waking up to some truths. And um, I've had a week where I've just been introverted and quiet. Um, and I found being quiet to be a, a time of observation and self-reflection, but also a time to give myself um, the ability to receive from, you know, my higher self, God within me, the Christ within me, whichever way um, you might see it. Um, when I look at my astrology chart, and I have been reading this for some while, some time, and I've come to some conclusions about myself um, and found where the struggles and challenges were. Um, and it gave me a better understanding on what to work on and how to um, change those areas that I've been struggling in. Um, Today, I was discussing with the group that I work with. Um, first of all, I started with acceptance. And um, many people will say that they have accepted themselves or they accept others. But I found that there is a need for everyone with the exception of some, to be accepted by people in their actions and how they feel and how they think. How this came about is observation over time and even my own experience. My experience with being the person that did not accept another person's opinion, that it had to be my way or no way, and then growing to understand that that's not, um, is not the correct way to think. I think that if we look at the fact that we're in a world together, that means that at this point in my life, I've experienced enough to say, we have to consciously understand how we have not accepted other people's understanding their wisdom or their ways, whether they are right or wrong in their ways. And um, I was talking to a colleague today about that because I felt the impact of an energy that many people don't talk about, and that is Uranus. I finally got the understanding of my own uniqueness. I have a uniqueness in relationships and partnerships. And that uniqueness brings um, a different concept of things, uh, uh, so different that it's not traditional. And many people will look at you and they won't accept what you're saying because it's not traditional. Now, when you look at the word traditional, many of us don't understand what the word traditional really um is saying because a lot of us don't feel that we live traditional or conventional lives. Um, this energy that I felt has been teaching me and showing me some things and it's called Uranus. That is the planet that Aquarians are ruled over. Saturn is with um, Aquarius as well, but Uranus, um, you know, they say that Uranus is the a planet for Aquarius. So Aquarians will understand their own independence and their own right to think what they want to. They will also fight for the liberty of that. The Aquarius will also become very angry within if they cannot find this freedom or understanding. This freedom means that they will not go with the masses. 
they will walk with whatever understanding and um, higher calling or God that they believe in, even if it's not a God. So as I reflected and I've taken this all in, not just today, it's been going on for some time. I finally decided to begin to talk to some people that I um, I work with. And then um, furthermore, because it is an energy that a lot of people don't understand. 